All right, what is up guys? It is Josh back with another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be highlighting how you can start as an absolute beginner editing YouTube videos in 2022. For this video, I'm gonna be using an absolutely free software, so you're gonna be able to follow along no matter what you're willing to spend on an editing software. It's gonna be 100% free. You won't need anything to start up other than the software, no plugins. I'm just gonna be using the standard effects featured on the software itself, and kind of just gonna be going over the basics of the software and what you're able to do, just kind of from the ground up. But if you guys enjoy this video, you find it helpful make sure to drop a sub as well as like and comment it helps me out more than you know and uh, yeah i'll see you guys on my pc all right guys so once we're inside of davinci resolve what we're actually able to do is we can just go new project and pretty much what i'm going to start out by doing is i'm going to actually go over to the edit tab here this is where everything can be done inside of a big mistake that people make when they start out in the software is they start out in the cut tab that just gives you limited functionality of the software itself so you're going to want to actually head on over to the edit tab right after that you're going to come up to file you're going to go down to project settings and you're going to change your timeline frame rate to 60 fps because that's almost the industry standard nowadays and you're gonna want to save your changes from there you're gonna find whatever sort of footage you're wanting to edit so for me I'm just going to take let's say uh a random video here so I'm gonna be covering the five main components that I feel can help you get started when it comes to editing your own videos and that's gonna be fading in and out cutting adding transitions adding text and then adding music I feel that these five components are enough to at least get you started from the ground up and allow you to actually start editing your own YouTube videos so the first feature I'm going to show you is gonna be fading so DaVinci Resolve has a super simplistic way of doing this all you have to do is select the footage right here just hover your cursor over top and these two white lines on either side of the footage are actually going to be the things that you can drag into fade in and out so for example if i want to go over top of this white one and i want to fade in my video i can drag it in for as long as i want the fade to last so we can see progressively that'll actually fade the content in like that on the opposite side we can do a fade out which is a good way to end your videos or if you'd like to do a longer one you can just adjust the length as is the next feature I'm going to be highlighting is actually cutting and trimming down your clips. So the cool thing that DaVinci Resolve actually allows you to do is if you want to drag from either side, you're able to do that. But you can also click this blade tool here, which will allow you to slice the footage in any location that you would like. And that is a cool feature itself that I like to utilize when I'm actually editing my videos. And just to get rid of your footage, you can press this little cursor icon right here. You can come down here and you can just press delete on your keyboard. And then you can select all this footage by dragging and clicking and dragging these over to the left to kind of put the footage together. So we can see that it kind of skips like that. A bit of an advanced trick is if you want to get directly rid of this footage without having to drag over this other portion, what you can do is you can select this, you can press shift on your keyboard and hold it while pressing delete, and it will just kind of do a ripple delete where it, it will shift these over to the left, taking the replacement spot of where we actually deleted the footage. The third component's actually gonna be transitions inside of DaVinci Resolve, and we're gonna be using the software-based transition. So what we can do is we can come over here if you don't have this toolbox popped up you probably just have this or this you're gonna press media pool which will allow you to see your content and then you'll press effects library it will come up here to video transitions and DaVinci Resolve has so many different transitions that you can use so for example the standard one that a lot of people use are cross dissolves which will fade the two together but something I like to use is something like a blur dissolve which can be super cool or something like a smooth cut which is a bit strange and you can't really notice in that one but it does like a weird warp thing and davinci resolve also offers slide transitions just like this zoom transitions just kind of basic enough transitions that you can implement into your first youtube video so i'm going to keep this zoom transition here the next component is actually going to be how to add subtitles or text on your screen so the basic thing right here is you can just add a text box by going to titles in your effects library and just over here on the right side if you don't have your inspector open you can press it right here and this will give you all the options you can change to hi my name is josh or something Something like that and you're able to access every single font on your computer so for me I'm gonna be using cool Vetica so let me quickly come down right here to cool Vetica I can change the size adjust it change the line spacing and then I can also change the alignment as well as an anchor position change the position right here change the zoom and then I can also enable features directly on the text itself such as drop shadow which is super cool 
and we can adjust that right there and if we want to add a stroke which is a border around the outside we can do that directly in the software as well another cool feature that not a lot of people talk about are the built-in fusion title features inside of davinci resolve so for example we can add this flip up animation right here and what this will do is it'll provide a built-in animation sample that you can edit the text to so for example, if you don't want to just do, so for example, if you don't want an on-screen text and you want kind of more of an animation type of text, what you can do is you can change, hi, my name is Josh on one of these things. You can also change the tracking to make it closer together. If you don't like the spacing, you can just mess around with these features, honestly. And what this will do is it'll take the text that we just put in and it will apply the uh, animation default that it has on all these different ones and i would definitely recommend playing around with a lot of these because there's a lot of really cool ones but yeah if you mess around with different titles i'm sure you can find one that you'll be satisfied for your first couple of youtube videos and it's a great way to just get started on the software itself maybe get some subtitles or some sort of heading or title on your video itself the last feature i'm going to be covering is how to actually add music so all you got to do is i'm not allowed to talk about how you can get music on your pc from youtube but if you look up a tutorial on youtube i'm sure you'll be able to find one or some sort of converter i'm not allowed to directly link any websites itself or give you specific instructions as a part of youtube's policy so i'm actually just going to be hinting you towards uh, doing your own research but i have all this uh, music on my pc itself so i'm just going to drag in some free for profit kind of uh music or audio file right here it's just a background kind of beat and the thing you're going to want to do is obviously if we have it just in here right now um it's a bit loud if we're going to be talking in our youtube video we want it to be a lot quieter than our voice itself so what i'll do is i will click on the music itself I'll change the level to something a standard for me is negative 27 to like negative 35. So I'll just do a negative 32 decibels just to be safe. But we can hear it's a lot quieter in the background now, which is really good if we had it in a YouTube kind of commentary video or something like that. And we can also apply the fading in and out to audio files. So we can just do this, this, and this will be a gradual increase from zero to the desired audio level that we had set up in the top right corner here in our inspector but yeah that's pretty much how you can add uh, music uh, what i'll do is if i have two music files let's say i have a 10 minute video and i have a song ending and i want to add a second one i'll zoom in right here and what i'll do is i'll kind of do a manual crossfade where i'll have one start its transition where the other one is kind of downward sloping and then i'll have that so it kind of looks like that and that'll have a perfect transition between the two and then i'll adjust the uh, volume level right here but that's gonna actually do it for the video that's my idea on my five main components that i believe can get you started from the ground up inside of davinci resolve on your way to editing your very own youtube videos by yourself but if you guys do enjoy the content that i make and you want to see more videos like it make sure to go drop a sub as well as like and comment it helps me out a lot i hope you guys did enjoy and I will see you guys in a future video on the channel. Peace out.